Hi, my name is Steve Cavallaris with electricaltime.com. And if we look behind me here, we can see we have a pretty flat roof. We got the riser pole and we've got the overhead conductors over here. All right, but look how low that is to this flat roof. So before we go into the code book, I thought I'd take a different angle here so I could show you how it looks here from the side. See the mast over here, the overhead, and we got the loop over there. All right, you can see just how close that is to this flat roof. All right, let's go find my code book now, and let's see where that is. And let's go take a look at the 2023 National Electrical Code. And we're going to be in Article 230. It's called Services. We're going to go to Part 2, and that's Overhead Service Conductors. And then we're going to go find 230.24, talks about clearances. And then we're going to be looking at A, above roofs. So what it says, conductors shall have a vertical clearance of not less than 8 foot 6 inches. That's a change. It used to say 8 feet in the 2020 code. Now it's 8 foot 6 inches. And it's above the roof surface. The vertical clearance above the roof level shall be maintained for a distance of not less than three feet in all directions from the edge of the roof. Okay, now we have an exception one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so just make sure you read those exceptions. That gives us the permission to have a reduction in the vertical clearance. But when I look at each of these exceptions, one, two, three, four, and five, this roof does not qualify. Okay, so we just read 230.24a above roofs. And again, there's five exceptions that you need to know about in the National Electrical Code, which give us permission to have a reduction in the height above a roof. But when I looked at all of those exceptions, none of them applied to this roof here. So if this installation was being done today, by today's standards, we would have to have at least a clearance of at least eight and a half feet above the surface of the roof. And we'd have to be able to go out three feet this way and still measure eight and a half feet. All right, so I hope you got something uh, out of this quick little video. Also, check this out on my website, electricaltime.com. I've got free code questions and answers. So just go to electricaltime.com and you'll see a button it says free NEC code questions and answers. Click on that and subscribe for free to my daily email where you're going to get free code questions and answers. All right. Thanks for checking out this quick video. Also, make sure you check out those five exceptions in 230.24a for above roofs that gives us permission to have a reduction in the vertical clearance above a roof. All right. Take care and I will see you on the next video.